Hey guys, it's Chelsea from Austin Underground. I am sitting here with the guys from Mr. Wives. Hello. How are y'all? Doing well. How are you? Good. Good. Okay, so I'll just pass the mic down. Y'all can introduce yourselves individually. Oh, I'm Murph. I play sax from Mr. Wives. I'm Jesse. I play accordion, clock and spiel, <laughs> trumpet and keyboards in Mr. Wives. I'm Will. I play the bass. And I'm Mark. I play guitar. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we'll just jump right into it. Our Own House came out in the end of February. Um, the whole album is like awesome. Oh, Did y'all have a theme in mind behind like the album? Because it kind of, it, it, they're, each song seems different, but at the same time, it also kind of goes really well together. Well, good. The lead singer of our band, Mandy, she writes all the songs, and we locked her in a treehouse. <laughs> And she wrote the songs. I believe her, uh, our drummer Etienne would come and, you know, like give her a sandwich, <laughs> give her, give her like a smoothie. He's and very she kind. Would, He's very kind. Yeah, and she would keep one? writing. Yeah. Is that true? No, I don't no. know. I just made it. <laughs> um, and so, and she wrote the whole record in there. And it, a lot of it has to do about how we're like a band and we're like a family band. And by that, I mean that we're very all close with each other. We're real friends. We're not models they put together to taught how to play instruments. Oh, hard to believe, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for with, while looking at you, like well, the, I know. Yeah, so I think that that is generally the theme. Also, I know for Mandy that it's the first time in a long time for her that she had to write songs while she was happy, like things are going well. Oh. And um, so it was harder for her to emote happiness in musical form, but clearly not that hard. I mean, oh, the record's awesome. I'm very pleased with the record, yeah. personally. I'm, too. I'm very pleased with the record. Nice. <laughs> very listening yeah. to it. Um, so I know you said that she writes all the songs. Have you all been musical like before this, or did it kind of, because y'all started very recent, I think, We're as a band. Years old. Yeah, two years old. So have y'all been playing music before then, or did yeah. you try to start? Um, yeah, I think each of us played, you know, all of our lives, really, in different ways. But um, when we came together, it seems like as each piece of the puzzle came in, it really locked immediately. At least I know for me, the first time I sat down with Will and the guys, uh, really, really felt right. Yeah. Um, and that kind of just took off from there. Yeah, we all been playing music for a long time. We love each other. First rehearsals, magical for for us. Yeah. Um, well, how can you describe your sound to me as far as what y'all think of it? Because it's very fun. But is there like a specific way that y'all like to like describe it for people who may not know? I think the sunglasses main sunglasses. the sunglasses means that it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm it's just magical. sunglasses is the way to describe it. I think that's music. what it is. That's what I was thinking. Sunglasses. sunglasses. It's like especially those ones. You're right? wearing Lots shades. We referred to it yesterday as rock and soul. Yeah. Um, which I th was that what your idea? Yeah, that was Mark, uh, which I think is pretty clever. There, you know, it's just like uh, an amalgam of so many different things. Like we take, you know, stuff from like Motown, stuff from like funk, like try and just throw it all together. So. Uh, the songs kind of seem to have like a natural progression. It's not like we're form-fitting um, any ideas into it. Every member, every uh, hey Mark, I play guitar. <laughs> every uh, I'd say every member of the band has a very different background of music um, styles and I guess preferred choice of listening music. And I think that's all adds to each element of the band and what makes the band sound I guess how it does there's definitely bits of everything in there um, I forgot what the question was I just wanted to I just want to hold the microphone you're killing it thanks hey well am I doing a good job doing a phenomenal job thank you do you have any South by Southwest confessional uh, nothing nothing yet good. sorry <laughs> okay so um, y'all are on your sold-out tour you just released your album you're one of MTV's top artists to watch that's a lot, considering you just. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot, considering you said you're two years old. Like a lot of bands, it takes so much longer than that. What are y'all thinking? Like, how did that feel for y'all personally? I mean, I'll just speak for me. I just think, especially this tour headlining, it's been incredible to have our own fans come out and really, they already love the music, they're singing the songs with us. That to me has been more impactful than any of the, the press or any, or any of that kind of stuff. And it's really a great feeling when you're on stage to watch people rock out and, and really get into it. Um, I try not to think about the other stuff, but... Yeah. Dream come true tour. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I try, 
I mean, I don't, I try not to like think about anything. Like every, we've just been surrounded by people who have been incredibly gracious and like yeah. have really helped our career between like our managers, like the people that we work with, like the label. And um, I think if we were to like stop and think about it, I'd probably have a nervous breakdown. Yeah. So I just kind of go with the flow. I'm like Vin Diesel. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> <laughs> he really says that? Yeah. Oh only in the film. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Clarification, oh, only in the I film. <laughs> okay, so uh, how would you describe each other in one word? Like, if you could describe your band members in one word. Start, start down there. Okay, start. we'll start down here with the guitarist. How would I describe myself? No, them. I would describe Will as bass. <laughs> I would describe Jesse as treble. And I would describe Murph as the mids. probably the mids. <laughs> or I'd say you're the cold water, Murph is the hot water, and Jesse, you're kind of the lukewarm in between water. Oh. I always wanted to be lukewarm. Yeah. Definitely, I mean, strange. I feel like we're all like pretty, uh, pretty strange on like multitude of levels. Like we all get along really well. We all have, you know, just like hanging out and doing what we do. I don't know. Really I have a really good answer. answer. All right, you go for it. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Everyone in my band is awesome. We're all friends. Don't we're... Do a safe no, uh, <laughs> no, no. There's no, no, no. We don't like have oh, fights oh, yeah like, <laughs> we, yeah like we don't there isn't like rage that's unresolved like we're yeah. we're like rage real friends yeah like we're you know i believe it i can see it I we're, can see we're just like yeah. yeah we're you know, really these cool. are my friends <laughs> we're cool people <laughs> i said we're cool people <laughs> okay did you want to say or do you uh, think they kind of summed it no they're pretty good i would say if I describe Mark, this is more than one word, but I'd say bread and butter, because he loves bread and butter. He's just like all about that bread and butter. Bread and butter. All about the bread and butter. We call Will Sig Will, self-explanatory. And Dr. Bloom, I mean, one word to describe Dr. Bloom. Look at his outfit, very difficult, very difficult. Yeah, bow tie man, I guess that's one word. And I love him. You know, being normal is very over overrated, so I think that's all awesome. Um, okay, so I saw y'all did the Whisper Challenge with Hannah Hart. I love Hannah Hart. If y'all were to start your own YouTube channels, what would you do on it? You Like anything, it's not limited. Okay, all right, well, William, I think it's time to plug behind the couch. Okay, uh, yeah, there's a series that uh, I've been working on with Mandy uh, in our downtime. It's called Behind the Couch, or From Behind the Couch. Hashtag from behind the couch on the Instagram. And uh, Mandy usually starts playing something on a ukulele. It sounds very pretty. And then I come in and make it sound horrifying. Um, so that's what my YouTube channel would be. I'm going to look for sponsors, I think. You're a I am. This is the place to do it. Um, so I got that for me. No, no, okay. I mean, there's nothing else behind, from behind the couch. We don't want to take away from behind the couch. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Okay, well, it was really good to meet y'all. I hope I'm excited to see the show tonight. So, um, it was nice to meet you, yeah. yeah. <laughs>